Hey church, I want to remind you that this Sunday we will be celebrating the Lord's Supper together for the first time in a very long time. As you know that we have been refraining from uh, celebrating uh, the Lord's Supper and taking communion together uh, during this time, during the pandemic, as we really wrestled and struggled, what does it mean to gather as a church, as we understand the Lord's Supper as an ordinance for the gathered church. Uh, you can go back and look at one of our very first podcasts as we talk about this. We wanted to act slow and be very careful. And we feel like this is the time as we've been exploring Zoom worship and continuing rest- wrestling with what does it look like to gather uh, for worship. Uh, we feel like perhaps maybe using Zoom might give us an opportunity to be able to have some semblance of gathering. And so this Sunday after church, we will have a separate Zoom link for uh, for baptized believers who call Vinewood CFC or uh, Chinese for Christ Berkeley Church as their home church to come and uh, participate in the Lord's Supper together. We know right now that it is still not going to be the same. Uh, we know that this is irregular. We know that this is uh, not normative. Uh, but at the same time, we hope that we can get a shadow or semblance of what it remi- uh of what the Lord's Supper reminds us of. It reminds us of the community we have and the people and the church, the corporate gathering, and also reminds us of Jesus' life, death, and sacrifice uh, for the payment of sin. And so while we know that it would not be a perfect reflection, uh, we we do hope that it would give, it would just whet our appetites and give us a taste of what is to come in the very near future of us coming back together again and also in the distant future and hopefully not too distant future where Jesus comes back uh, for us. I do want to uh, just continue to share a little bit about perhaps how we can prepare our hearts and our time uh, for this upcoming Sunday. First, we want to encourage you to prepare the elements at home. While we don't want to be incredibly rigid in Uh, the elements that we use, we do want to understand that there is great symbolism in the elements that we use. So we don't want to stray too far from it lest we lose that symbolic aspect of the Lord's Supper or Communion. And so we ask that you find a way to get some bread uh, and find a way to get some maybe wine or grape juice that would uh, be and a reminder for us of Jesus' body and Jesus' blood. We do ask that you do your best. If you can't find anything, uh, you please contact uh, me, Chris, or uh, Esther, and you can always stop by maybe that Sunday morning and pick up some of the elements that we have, uh, little to-go cups, or you can just stop by your local grocery store. And if you are, if your family all attends CFC Berkeley together, it would be something very beneficial for your family in your little unit at home to take together. We know that one day uh, we will gather again together and we will celebrate the Lord's Supper together. Uh, but until then, we hope that this would give us an opportunity to be reminded of Jesus' uh, sacrifice and the payment of sin, and also reminds us of what it means for us to be one body and one corporate gathering. While we cannot physically gather, uh, we eagerly anticipate for that day to come. So until then, uh, I can't wait to see you soon. May God bless you.